I was trying to create an audiogram using Descript, and the docs are completely wrong for how you do this, and it took me a few minutes to figure it out. I thought it might be helpful for you if you're trying to make an audiogram with Descript too. Let me show you how I do it. Maybe it'll inspire you. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is create a new composition in a space where you already have a file, or you can find your own workflow here. But basically what I'm going to do is audiogram number two. And I'm just going to add a file from my media browser here, right? This one, add. Easy enough. Now, I don't want my dumb head in the frame. There's probably a way to make it invisible, which I don't know, but this works too, right? But I'm going to select all, control A, control shift K on Mac, I think it's command shift K. And we're going to add a waveform. Type in wave, there's waveform. Boom, this pops up. I can now style this and say, hey, what do I want from this? And I want to change the size. I'll make this real big. Cool. Now I've got this waveform with kind of an active jiggly wave to it. Actually, I want my composition to be a square. Here we go. So, composition's a square. I'm going to drag this up, make it nice and big. I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Make a duplicate of that. And then I'm going to change the, the style of this to say, I want a big border. So I want, I don't know, 40. I want more than that. I want 120. Maybe more than that. I want 250. Cool. There we go. And I want the color to be a bit different. I want the color here should be like dark gray, just barely different gray than the background is. That'll do. Okay, so this is my dark gray. I'm going to send this to the back. Now I've got this. And I might do one more duplication here and say, hey, I'm going to make this blue. I'm going to reduce the magnitude to 10, and I'm going to reduce the fidelity to 50. And maybe I'll change my uh, my my weight here a little bit to say this is going to be, I don't know, 25. There we go. And now I'm going to send you backwards one. And now maybe when I play this, we've got something that's a little bit visually interesting to see. That'll do. All right, so that's enough to kind of show you Something interesting here. Now I want to throw in subtitles for the whole thing. So I'm going to go a, Control A to select all, Control Shift K, type in captions. That's what I want. And it's going to pop them in. I can, of course, change the formatting however as I always want for my captioning. Then you've got everything you need to make a perfectly good audio group. You can, of course, throw any other images you want or anything in the background, but I can also say publish, export, video of this current composition. It'll save into my downloads and away I go. So if you need to make an audiogram, hopefully this helps you. If you have any other questions, drop me in the comments. Oh, thanks.